Hey guys, and welcome back to Dino Crisis 2. When we last left off, we had a bit of an issue with a compi. Little bastard was giving us the right runaround after stealing our card for one of the doors. Luckily, the facility key, actually. Ooh, hello. Luckily, we've managed to uh, trap the little git forevermore in in a cage which is uh, actually pretty harsh I suppose but you know no time for tears I guess now let's go see if we can't waste any more of these little critters running around aren't these like dilosauruses or something I'm not sure okay right item key item research facility key yes no Bastard compies this time. Ooh. It's all pretty green in... Ah, hello. Pretty green in here. So, that is the starter battery. Yes. One of the items we need for our extremely trashed vehicle. Our hovercraft. Is it a hovercraft or is it some kind of patrol boat type thing? Yeah, it's more of a patrol boat, wasn't it? Definitely need to patch that up. Otherwise, we're stuck big time. Another dead body of a youth was carried in. As expected, he was not a resident of Edward City. If this really is true, then the only possible conclusion is that he and the others must have come from another time. Could such a thing be possible? Okay. Is that what's going on with those biker dudes? Uh... Right? These past months, you uh, about the age of 17 or 18 have shown up before and attacked. Communication with these youths has not been successful, but rather impossible. Yeah. But why? Why is talking to them impossible? What? Okay. Today we plan to remove one of the bodies out of preservation liquid and conduct an autopsy. The results of the autopsy will be reported to Colonel Mason, who is uh, dispatched at the third energy facility. Yeah, that will be interesting. So I wonder if these guys are like actually human or what? I don't know. It's a device which controls the power for the instrument. Some instruments have not have been taken apart and a few parts have been removed. Good. Because we need to find more parts. Uh, so are we like done here now? Okay, so we've got a locked door behind us. I guess we're going to go back to the ship now. Was that all that we had to do in the facility? It may have been. Like, I really can't remember. I should go back to making notes. I always used to. Oh, come on. Serious. Yeah, unfortunately, the only drawback from this weapon... Oh, right, yeah. I was going to try and restart that encounter. The only drawback with this weapon is... Um... Oh, God. Like, the actual projectile protrudes uh, about... I don't know, a meter in front of the gun. Maybe not quite that far. So, enemies can get under your gun range. Which is something that you really need to be a little bit careful with. Right, let's try that again. Right, you're gone. Nice. Get out of here. Oh, God, look at the full bearings on that guy. You almost had me. What we on? What we on? What we on? 700 points. Is that it? Is that all of you? I guess so. It is hard to hear them, actually. There isn't always... Um, uh, we've really got to use this. Can't we just... I wish we could just go through the door. It's so annoying that we have to go into our inventory each time. There's the no damage bonus. There we go. So I guess... Any dino... 
really. As long as we kill enough of them, we can actually get that no damage uh, bonus, which is really bloody nice. Uh, okay. Let's get out of here. I guess we're going to go back to the boat now, which is actually quite a trek back. At least, I think it's quite a trek back. I guess we're clear. Okay. Well, we can never just chill out and relax because, as we've seen before, the enemies... Like, you think you understand roughly how a room works, and then the game flips it on its head. Which is fine. Keep drawing your toes. Turn that heater off. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey, friend. How's this going to work with this guy? This... Sh we should be able to keep him stunlocked. Oh, my God. That was just savage. We just ripped him right off. Like no fucks given at all. Can we do that again? Because that was a nice little earner. Is he going to spawn in there again? Because I wouldn't say no to killing that guy a couple of times. Nope, it's just these assholes back. And I don't like these things. actually quite hard to kill. Well, they're not hard to kill, but they're hard to kill properly. Should we say? Without incurring uh, damage penalties. They're harder than they should be anyway, just because you just can't see them, like where they are. Like, am I hitting it anywhere near it? I don't know. Depth perception, yo. I want to kill them because I like money and it's fun. But... Yeah, it is not easy. They do kind of come down. And loiter for a little bit, I suppose. But anyway, that's fine. We made uh, 30k. Or 3k, I should say. 30k. I wish. Oh, whoa, red dinos. Oh, man. These guys are a little bit stronger now, aren't they? But they're worth significantly more money. Dude, did you see that? 7,000 each. Um, the patrol ship is back this way. Yeah, okay. I think we're going back this way. I might get lost. The map itself is actually pretty good, but it doesn't tell you exactly where you are, which is fine, but when you don't play the game for, you know, nearly, well, I wouldn't quite say nearly two weeks, but a while at least. I like fighting those black dinos. Ah, oh, now we're just back to the standard. The standard basic ones. Alright. Basic bitches. Make no mistake though, these guys can fuck you up. Alright, that'll do. Come on. That's a 10. Oh, oh, dude, that was so close. We almost got wasted. Okay. Where does this take us? No damage bonus as well. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, yeah, this is to the dock. Yeah, this is where we want to go. Kind of want to go and hunt some more dinosaurs, but... Oh, no, this is... Oh, this is the way Regina goes, isn't it? Yeah. She's got that bloody lightsaber in her pocket i guess she seems to have a little bit better equipment than dylan here he's just got like a basic machete she's got this freaking amazing like next generation 
I'm trying to hear dinosaurs. It's like cool little next generation um, melee weapon, which I guess we don't get. Does that mean we have to go right round the outside? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. All right, that'll work. Well, I mean, you know. Oh, God. We can actually fire this weapon. I, I kind of forgot. We can fire it ahead of us. And if we fire it ahead of us. As we run past it, it kind of leaves a mine behind us. Which is kind of a cool little thing, actually. Right, let's have a look through here. So... That's through there, but we don't want to go that way, do we? But I guess we have to go this way. Yeah, that's right, because that's for Regina, isn't it? We have to go all the way up and around. Which is, let's be fair, a little bit BS, but all right, we'll roll with it. We'll roll with it. All right, keep that solid cannon at the ready. Another no damage bonus. We'll take it. All right, got these bloody assholes now. Two of them. See, the sound they make when they're dying as well kind of, like, <laughs> makes me not, well, not nervous, but... It almost sounds like uh, they're getting ready for a swoop or an attack. So, do we really have to... Oh, no, we're going the wrong way. We need to go behind us. So, where am I going wrong here? Oh, you'd think this is really obvious. And to be honest, for someone with uh, more mental fortitude than me, it probably is. But... Hey, I'm stupid, so... This is... Obviously not confusing to most people. So that's the poison area, right? So, yeah, we do. We need to go through the poison area. That's right, because this area uh, leads to the missile silo where we can't go through. We need the gas mask for that, which we don't have. And I'm assuming we don't have it because we don't need it yet. But I guess we're going to find out. Oh, come on. Auto aim, please. Oh, we're lucky he went for a spit. And not a straight up attack. Because if he went for an attack, that would have been bad news, guys. Alright, just keep moving. Keep moving. Don't mind spending the ammo. Oh, you dick penis, man. That was unfortunate. That was really unfortunate. Yeah, that was a case of... Um, he was too far out of range. I fired it, and uh, yeah, he, he ran past the orb as it was deployed. This is a really strange weapon, to be honest. Like, it's okay. It's, it's, it's different, but... And it is very powerful, but it doesn't behave like a standard gun. At all. Which, I guess, you know, it's not... Oh, there's two different colours. Right, so I'm wondering... If the red ones attack us and the bluish ones kind of spit at us, is that the... See, look at that. I, I shot him, but he walks through the actual uh, orb. Was that due to perspective? I don't know. I'm not sure. That was a bit strange. Yeah, and again, because he's so close to me, I can't actually hit him. Yeah, the weapons are a bit strange. Well, no, not Regina's. Regina's weapons are fine. You know, you know where you are with hers. But with dildos, they are a 
bit of guesswork, I suppose. Maybe it's something you get used to, perhaps. Maybe it's just old shitty game design. Okay, let's see how much money we've got. Now, let's... I guess we'll... Ch oh, we'll recharge our weapons, because why the devil not? Oh, it's 25. 25 per charge. All right. Cut. Is it worth getting some more ammo for this thing? I mean, we can afford it, I suppose. Like 1,500 credits. And that give us 450 rounds. It's kind of hard to imagine us ever going through 450 rounds. Uh... I just, I don't know if it's worth it though. Maybe there's a better weapon later on. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it for now. Uh, let's heal up. Go inhale some kind of healing weapon. Um, uh, yeah, use a small, I suppose. Actually, you know what, just use two smalls. Just buy two smalls again. Or just replace them with large med kits. Cause, uh, yeah. Yeah, go on, large med kits. You get a lot more um, bang for your buck that way. Um, large, large. We do have, we've got four resuscitation packs as well. I wish we could, maybe we can sell weapons. I'm not sure. Yeah, because they're like large medikits, which completely recover your health and stop bleeding. Uh, only a thousand each. That's not bad, you know. All right, so let's take a little look at our map. Is there three doors here? There is three doors here. But we want to go through the door that we're looking at. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming we don't want to go back to the military training facility. Seems a little bit pointless, to be honest. We need to make our way back to the boat. And I'm, I'm going to guess that we're going to take over as Regina then. Oh, hey, friend. That makes sense to me. Oh, jeez. Louise, big papa cheese. Oh, yeah. There's a ladder over here, isn't there? Yep, of course. We've changed scenes. So we've got more dinos to take out. I think that no kill bonus or no damage bonus is probably more profitable, to be honest, than actually... than actually just getting the combos. But then I suppose it depends how high you take the combo, really. Oh, god damn it. Yeah. And then it also depends what you're fighting as well. Come on. There we go. Good night. Uh-oh. Bad mistakes possibly have been made. Come on, come down. There we go. Oof. Yeah, I don't spare the horses. Not when it comes to this. Are they smart? Are they like waiting for me to kind of like back off a little bit with the weapon? Kind of gets that feeling. Oh God, we've gone through a transition. That's bad. Come on, there we go. You don't want to wake up too many of these dinos. But there we go. Nice big fat 6,000 points. I'll take it. Oh, hey, friend. Wow. There you go. I can see why they call these points extinction points. Oh, no. That was unavoidable. He just, like, spawned in my character, basically. Just spawned in Dildo's ass. Look at that guy. He was literally... He already had his face coming through the scene. As we transitioned. Oh, this game's crazy. This game's crazy and I love it. It's just chaos. Just cartoony. Cartoony arcadey action. And, you know, it sounds strange when if you're familiar with the first game. But at the same time, it's bonkers. And just it just fits this game, I think, you know? Kind of interested to see what what they did with 
the third game, is it? I don't think it's anything like this. I know it involves being in space on some kind of um, uh, space station and you've got like a jetpack, but I don't know any more than that. Like, I don't know what the actual gameplay style's like. Come on, dude. There we go. Oh, hello. A bit more for you, too. Oof. Here they come. Lay down. Keep those orbs fresh behind us, I guess. Here they come. There's only one way they can be coming from. Just missed the combo there, but that's fine. Oof. Another 6,000 points in the bag. I, you know, if they're going to bring back Dino Crisis, right, and maybe they will. They did renew the trademark, but that doesn't really mean much. Uh, I think I would kind of like it to be a little bit more action orientated, you know, because this is just madness. And it works for the, it works for this. You know, it doesn't have to be a carbon copy of Resident Evil. So, yeah, I would be very happy for it to just be a little bit something like this. Don't you dare tell me that we don't have a correct key or something to get through here. Don't you dare tell me that. Because heads will roll. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, we need to go back through the other door. Yeah, okay. That's right. That's that, like, little watery kind of path, wasn't it? That was full of um, those big blue not t rexes I can't remember the dinosaurs' names. I don't really care either, to be honest. They're lizards. Their flesh burns and sparkles. That's all that matters. Yeah, I remember this. Oh. Damn. Yeah, like, you can hear them, but you've no idea whatsoever where they are. Oh, that was lucky. That was as lucky as it gets. Wow, there's, like, caves full of them. Oof. Jeez. Okay. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. Come to Papa Dylan. Come on, Bear. Come on. There we go. Oh, God. Careful with those transitions. We'll take it. Really? So they let you get up on the ladder and then they attack you. They're classy like that, you know? Uh-oh. Bad. Oof. Oof. That was luck. I was puckering my asshole there, for sure. Ooh. Come on. Any more for any more? Of course there's more. There's always more. Right, we should have generated some good amount of points there. Might as well finish the room. They just got to throw that last little dino at you, haven't they? They just have to do it. Alright. Now, let's head back. Let's go see what we can actually do with this. I wonder if it's going to trigger something. Or if it's like Resident Evil 3, you know, when you've got to get all the parts for the tram. Do you have to get all of the parts at once? But that doesn't seem like it's possible at the moment. Uh, that's apparently not a door. That's the door. Cockpit cabin. Right. Ooh. Well, that's awkward. Oh, hi. She's gone. Uh, yeah, I can see that. 
You know what else is weird? I've checked the stats on all the residents in Solvent, but I couldn't find any profile fitting her description. It's like she doesn't exist. Well, I was thinking, maybe she's not one of the survivors at all. What if those helmet people are from a completely different time than ours? What? Uh, never mind. We found parts that might help fix the ship. But what matters now is we still haven't found any survivors or helpful data, so we must move on and search elsewhere. This control panel is programmed to search for the areas where we can dock. Use it. Right. Ah. Do we get choices? Dylan gave the starter battery to Regina. Okay. So we're still playing as Dylan. Interesting. Uh, let's charge our gun up and see how much cash we have. Which should be quite a lot. Yeah, I like... You know, I always find it frustrating. And I... You know, I'm not going to blame this game. Because, it, you know, it's an old game. But I wish characters would react to, you know, diaries and stuff that we've picked up. Because we've, you know, we've picked up something alluding to that very, very thing. Um, okay. Let's charge this up. This really costs pennies to charge this bad boy up. Uh, I guess we'll charge that up as well, just because. There we go. Alright. Oh, is there any tools we can buy? Can't remember if we've actually looked. So, I guess this thing's uh, powered up now. Mm, yeah, we've maxed out on that. Tools. Oh! Also, this shit. Uh, this will extend the time that the combo is being displayed on the screen for. Uh, yes. I guess that's Extinction Point Silver Card. I mean, I guess. We can afford it. In a suit. By wearing the suit, it will completely completely stop you from bleeding uh, again I guess so I mean yeah we'll get that as well sure why not in a suit so we don't need uh, hermit was it hermostats anymore I suppose let's go see if we can talk to Regina That was expensive. Oh, hey, there she is. It won't do us any good to stay here. Let's move on. All right, so we're going to like a whole new area now. That's pretty cool. I had no idea that, you know, I just thought more parts of the map were going to open up, etc. I didn't think that we'd actually be like racing off to other areas. That's pretty fucking rad. I like. So we're in Edward. Oh. So we can go to the third energy facility, or we can go to Edward City. Uh, I mean, uh, this is point B, so let's go to point B. I said, oh dear. We're surrounded. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Wait, we have to now go. Oh, I'm going to save. We have to go outside now. Great. With these bloody monsters. Apparently, like, fucking sniffing around. Alright. Well. Oh, we're actually on 29 minutes, guys. So, I think I'm going to leave this one here. And we'll check out the excitement outside in the next part. Fingers crossed it's nothing too extreme, but hey. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.